Caroline and Marion Lewis know they share their home in the woods with wildlife. But these pictures tell the story of an encounter that's made them nervous to be in their own backyard. It's a security issue. We don't feel secure anymore. I don't want to have to feel like we're going to have to grab something to try to protect ourselves um, or not, you know, be cornered <laughs> right in my garage between a car and a bear. Darlene says that's nearly what happened today when she was heading out to run errands. But instead of taking the door that leads directly into the garage, she opted for this one. When I look, the bear is actually coming out of the garage. He's to the corner here and he's like halfway out, head, nose, all. Her first thought, there's no way this is real. Then we realize the bear's been here for some time because it's torn over trash cans and garbage has been uh, strung across the backyard. And I don't mind the, the garbage cleanup, it's, it's just the fact the bear was just here, just right at our house in our garage. <laughs> right where the couple's four-year-old grandson usually plays. Uh, three foot or better tall, standing on four legs. So you can imagine once it raises up, you're talking about a six or seven foot bear problem. The couple doesn't want to wait for that to happen, but the fear is it might. Back. Once they get the habit of uh, raiding garbage cans, they will continue to do that. Marion says he'll be ready. If the bear threatens me or my family, I'll do what it takes to get rid of the bear. Covering the news in Elliott County, Jackie Congedo, LEX 18 News.